weird for us when we come here, don't tell me now. Oh, for us? Yeah. It is weird. You're gonna but make uh, mature for your parents? Maybe. Just, you know, just show how is the hungry. I, I eat one bottle. One bottle, like what? Like that. Like that. And you just heat it up? And one jar. Okay. You do the same thing what Maggie does now. And then... Sausage, you can buy that uh, Polish sausage in yeah. the store. And that's just as good as this smoked sausage. You can do the same thing. You can do the same, exactly. Make a little bit of rice for the Polish I usually put the uh, eggs. Yeah, that's good. You can do it. Eggs. That's not a mix. Sausage, then put the onion on and the garlic, and then you put the whole bottle of cream sauce. It's okay without that. Yeah. Stop it. Uh huh. It's come up to work. How is now? Very good. I have no suggestion for this. Put your own pig to butcher. And then, when we were done with the butchering, we have to give a half of it to the government. The half of it. And Every year we have to give to the government, I don't know, 10 or 15 chickens and 50 or 60 or 80 eggs. I know it was a lot for us because we just have a, around the house in the chickens, not, we don't have a chicken farm. So, and I know that and I remember when we start coming from the house, walk to the office where we had to bring the stuff. My mom was crying all the way along. And she said, that's why we did work all year long, long, because that was the highlight of the year for the, the average people. The end of the year, you know, in the winter time, because we don't have to or anything like that, so we can put their feet only at the winter. And that's why she said, that's why I worked it all year, you know, feed them, keep them and very happy and, and nice and big. I want to give it for nothing. And we don't get the funny for it. You give it to the Russian. Even a piece of oak, the hand on the So my parents. I think it's good. It's good? Mm-hmm. Okay. And my I little I miss the eggs, but it's yeah. good. But if you want, I can uh, broke a couple of eggs and put it in. Yeah, can we? Yeah. Like, two. Two, I think it's enough. And then, the material In China, even today, we have this kind of society. Not in Beijing, not in Texas. In a countryside. The people work 12 hours a day for 14 and they have rice the food in the factory. And they, they showed on the TV in India and almost like a conveyor belt, <coughs> the, the dishes coming out from the kitchen and the people in line get the dishes sit down somewhere, not, not at the table, just somewhere in the corner. Like a big human being to handle like that. Yeah, that's terrible. I don't know. <clears throat> History has shown enough that communism just does not work. What, what? It does not work. The idea sounds good, that everybody has, that everybody is but that's never happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's no, no, happen. way. No, no way. No way it's going to happen. Because the, the president of this have more than you have. 
and the common itself, the country, <coughs> the, 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 the country is yours. The land is yours. And we don't have nothing to eat. Always when there's a communism, there's such strict government rules and there's something like that, something like that, that restricts you from everything. The government can at any time take everything away from you. I, I see a lot of So back to the airport and uh, the customs and everything, like when I came here on a, in the airplane they asked me a lot of questions to fill out a, a paper that what I have in my suitcase like food or any other food because uh, they have a food stop to the USA. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's see. 